Um, okay, so this morning what we're going to look at is the notion of a full value contract. So a full value contract is where we individually and as a group decide what are the types of behaviours that would allow us to feel safe in a learning environment and allow others to feel safe in a learning environment. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to come up in smaller groups um, and to actually take the time to draw round one of your hands and then within that hand, you're going to write a word that conveys a behaviour that you think would allow you to um, take part in a safe learning environment. So my word perhaps would be the notion of trust. Okay, well done. Um, so let's have a look through. <clears throat> We've respect, safety, listen, responsible, trust. We have another respect, respect here, uh, listen again, uh, communication, another responsible, aware, another respect, three, four, five, four, four. So a number of respects have come out. Look, so I think respect is a kind of overall umbrella term that we have for this notion of feeling safe. Okay, so we're keeping those notions in mind. Okay, we've heard some of the words. There may be some missing, missing. we can come back to that. But you want to keep those words in your mind. And as we work our way through the two tasks, what I'm going to ask those who aren't doing the task to do is to actually watch one of your peers and to note down what are they doing effectively in relation to what you've considered as being safe uh, behaviours and what perhaps should they work on. Okay, so a spider's web. Your task is that you all start on one side of the web and you have to feed each other through the web to the other side. In doing that, you're not allowed to use the same space that you have fed the previous person through. And you're not to try and touch any um, of the rope at all. So think about the behaviours that we talked about in relation to you feeling safe and your peers feeling safe in doing the activity. Go sideways. Drop the shoulder, yeah. There we go. Yeah, here shows. Straight now. Just, <laughs> just straight. Nice. All right. <laughs> well done. Excellent. Watch now. Drop, 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 drop. Drop. Keep that. <laughs> Keep that down. <laughs> yes. Hold on. For those that are observing, what were some of the behaviours that you saw that you think actually positively affected uh, the success of the activity? So, um, Claude, would you maybe do your hand and put patient um, in, in the centre there? Because I don't think we have that one. Okay, so patience with yourself and with each other will hopefully encourage a safe learning environment. Okay, so I think then in a safe environment, sometimes people don't feel safe to talk but then it actually helps the safe learning environment if somebody does take that role on in an environment that actually is, is nurturing and respectful of what people are saying. Okay, so what we can do with this then is, this becomes our full value contract that we can have every week in class and we can refer to it throughout the activities that we do if our main outcome and learning goal is to encourage a safe learning environment for all kids within the classroom. Okay?
Thank you.